G'day and welcome to Wine Talk. I'm Dan and I'm Brad and this week I'm going to kick off with a wine from Tasmania. Now we've looked at all of the great wine regions from around Australia but so far we've uh, ignored the Apple Isle. Uh, no longer. This is the Bay of Fires 2006 Chardonnay and proof positive that Tassie does some bloody good wines. This one, uh, look, it's a Chardonnay that's uh, coming from the school of thought that you can use oak barrels to build your Chardonnay. Uh, there's kind of the other school of thought, big tin cans, stick them in the bottle this week, get them out, hope that somebody drinks them in the next three weeks. But this is a wine that's built to uh, to deal with the long haul. So if you've got a chance to put a few of these down uh, at uh, at a little under $30, it's, uh, it's a sort of wine that will uh, serve you very nicely for that. Uh, put a few of them down, drag them out one night in a few years, time and this will be magnificent very drinkable now but very noticeable the oak in it at the moment so look do yourself a favor grab some of them throw them down and open them up later yeah mm. it is one of those bigger chardonnay so for those mm. like that get into it mm. this week i'm going to have a look at uh, a Durenberg wine this is uh Darry's original this is a blend of shiraz and grenache and it's again from the uh, great 2004 vintage uh, you may remember we had a look at a Durenberg wine uh, a little while ago, the uh, Shiraz Viognier blend called the Laughing Magpie. This is uh, this is an absolute bargain, this one. Um, it's been made like this for about 40 odd years, uh, same way, about 50-50 split with the Shiraz and Grenache, but uh, they complement each other really well, and it's a style of wine that is uh, really good to drink right now. Um, of course, you know, if you're willing to put it down for a few years, it'll soften out a bit and uh, develop a little bit more complexity. But uh, Shiraz and Grenache blends are really good for drinking right now. Uh, it comes in at around the sort of $15, $16, $17 dollar mark. And if it's on special around the $15 mark, get onto it because it is seriously one of the, the great bargains coming out of the McLaren Vale area. So it's uh, the Durenberg Darry's Original. Check it out. Yeah, great. Expensive fruit in there, not an expensive bottle. So have a look out for that one. Last one we're going to look at is a Zima Estate from the Coonawarra, a 2004, but no, it's not a Cab Sav. It's a Shiraz, this one's a little bit more spicy, uh, suitable for more of those kind of big steaks rather than, uh, so the kind of lamb for your Cab Sav. Uh, but proof positive that the Coonawarra does great wine across the board, not just Cab Savs that we've been raving constantly about. So this one, uh, around about the 20 odd dollar mark, and that is remarkable value when you consider that the guys at Zima Estate do actually hand pick their grapes. So look, Keep an eye out for it. Zima Estate, brilliant place, great wine, a Shiraz from the Coonawarra. Yep, it's a uh, winery in top form, Zima, so check it out. Mm, certainly is. So, look, thanks for joining us on Wine Week. We'll see you again next week. See you next week.